Okay, for this project, I want you to draw a creature. That means you can draw whatever you want. So I'm going to start with a head, and I want you to make your creature nice and big, and I want your belly for your creature to be really big too. You're going to be cutting out part of the belly, so if you make it really small, it's just not going to work. So I'm going to give my creature some horns. I'm going to give him like a pig nose, um, two eyeballs. You can make one eyeball if you wanted. You can make more than that. It's a creature. My creature is going to have these arms that are going to come out like this. And then there's going to be, I don't know, like sort of claws. And he has a really awkward stance. Maybe that's how he scares people away. Maybe he's friendly. I don't know. I'm going to have him have these two little feet down here. He's just chilling. He's a chunkster. I guess he's from the pig family because he's got a big belly. All right, I'm actually going to give him some wings. Bump and jump. And I'm just kind of making my creature pretty big, pretty simple. Not doing any details in here. Well, actually, that's, I'm just kidding. I am going to do a detail. I am going to make another part of the belly. I'll cut this part out. And then just to, like, make it interesting, I'm going to give him a pattern because this week is all about patterns and textures. So why not give him a pattern, make him have some fluffy wings so there's some texture. So now I've added some texture. If you want to, you can add a background. And I'm not really asking you to color anything in this time because the color is going to come from what happens when we get rid of the inner part here. So there's a, there's a, a sun. You, know, you guys know I love these like bumpy clouds that have like the flat bottoms. Those are my favorites. And uh, I don't know, there's some details down here. I don't know, maybe like a flower or so. More organic things from nature. We just talked about patterns and textures in nature. So why not add something that is related? And so that's step number one. Okay, for this next part, you need an adult's help. So ask really nicely and kindly and sweetly. You'll need scissors. And I told you you're going to have cutting out the belly. So I made a little cut here. Please, please, please ask for help if you need it. And all I'm going to do is cut out the belly here along this line. I'm creating like a hole, which seems really weird, but you will understand when I show you step number three. So this is step number Okay, step number three is you give your, your monster some texture. So find something in nature or in your house, like a pug. No, I don't want your face in it, boo. There. Now he has a soft furry belly. Now I'm outside. It's dark out. I'm doing this at night. Oh, my husband says I should do the bushes. They have pretty flowers in them. Ooh, that's cool. This is our table that's in our backyard. So now he has sort of this rough textured belly. This is a super soft and fuzzy blanket. It has a pug hair on it. There's more nature for you. This is the carpet in our hallway. So as you can see, you can make tons of interesting patterns for your creature just by wandering around your house. Look, my husband's got buffalo all over his pants. Ta-da! Hey, the buffalo have patterns too. Pretty cool.